Herodotus once said, Egypt is the gift of the Nile. Surrounded by the inhospitable Sahara Desert, the Nile provides life. Its floods, rich with silt, made the river's shores one of the most fertile lands on the planet, providing bountiful harvests for the ancient Egyptians. However, these floods could also displace countless numbers of Egyptians. This made controlling the Nile waters crucial to ensuring prosperity. This begs the question, how did the ancient Egyptians control the Nile? Our story begins during the Bronze Age, with Egypt being ruled by its 12th dynasty. This dynasty is known to have built numerous projects aimed at increasing the agricultural output of Egypt. The region that saw the most investment by these pharaohs is now known as the Fayum, but back then was known as the Tashe, which means land of the lakes. This name comes from the fact that the region lay in a depression that was filled up with water whenever the Nile over flooded creating many lakes. This made the region so lush that numerous groups of people came from the surrounding arid plateaus to settle, attracted by the abundant game and grasses. As such, many a pharaoh tried to take advantage of this land and built many irrigation systems in the Fayum. Nevertheless, it is believed that during the reign of Amenemhat III in the 19th century BCE, a canal linking the Nile to the Fayum was opened. This canal would branch off from the Nile in the city of Asiut. From there, it would follow the previously mentioned depression, although now expanded, flowing parallel to the Nile for hundreds of kilometres until it reached the city of Lahun, where stood a dam which served as a regulatory station for the canal. There, the waterway would either be closed or opened, depending on the time of the year. When the dam's sluices were closed in January, the waterways would be drained and cleared in order to be ready for the year's flood. Officially, after crossing this dam, one would find themselves in the Fayum proper, where the remainder of the canal would discharge into the Lake Moiris, which, during the flood season, was estimated to double in size, providing the Egyptians with 27,000 new acres of farmland. Nowadays, this canal is known as the Bar Yusuf, but to the Greeks, it was known as the Diarix Megale, the Great Canal. This title is well justified, as its construction revolutionised the Fayum for millennia to come, still being used to this very day as an important irrigation system. If you're interested in the other great canals of ancient Egypt, be sure to check out our two preceding videos on this very topic, linked in the description below. Special thanks to our Imperator level patron, Fernando Lopez Olleda. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more great historical content. Feel free to follow our social media or join our Discord server linked in the description below. And if you're feeling extra generous, why not become a patron and subscribe to our page on there.